What's up guys? This is Fed with R by Fed. Um, I just wanted to thank you and, and welcome you to this like ocean challenge that we are all <clears throat> participating in. Uh, I know that I've gotten a lot of questions about how to mix the resin, what am I doing? Uh, and I am going to show you today how incredibly easy it is uh, and anybody can do it. And you guys have already been having amazing results, but I just wanna show you a little bit of my process um, I will always weigh everything. I have my little scale and my silicone mold. I'm gonna zero that out. Uh, and the painting that I'll be working on right now is 18 by 14. So I'm probably going to have a total of about eight ounces of resin. So I'm going to do my best to measure this almost perfectly. And I'll just take you through the whole process. <clears throat> All epoxy will have a part A and B, some mix at different levels. Uh, some are one-to-one -one parts, others are two-to-one. I will generally work with <clears throat> Mr. Crafty or I'm using right now Tabletop. I think a watch out here for uh, Tabletop is that is a much faster uh, working time. And by the way, so I, I went a little over, I'm at 4.34 ounces, so I will match that with the part B to make sure that it is perfect one part of each. So yeah, I'm using tabletop right now. <clears throat> Give me one second, let me measure this. And there we go, perfect, 4.3, exactly. Wonderful. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna do this without a mask. It's not something that I recommend you do, so I am going to protect my face really quickly. But you wanna mix all the way properly, generally about a minute or two, depending on what epoxy you're using. Combine both sides as best as you can. Uh, tabletop tends to, because it cures faster, I didn't see this with previous resins, but what you will find is that little um, little bubbles will just form and create in the resin. And if you inhale that, that could be quite harmful for you over time. So I don't recommend you do this without protection. And then I'm gonna separate this into different cups uh, in smaller amounts and I will begin building my layers. For the amount of powder, wind powders that I use, this is where you guys don't need to be scared. There isn't an exact or a perfect measurement. If I want a heavier base, I will use a lot more. As long as the resin is properly mixed and the powders get properly wet and coated, they will cure uh, and they will solidify and you can always build more layers. So I don't need you guys to be, I don't want you guys to be um, worried about what the measurements are. If you want a lighter shine, you'll put a little bit less powders on them. Or you can just do a ton, like a 50% resin, 50% powders, or even more, depending on how thick you want to build it. Um, if you want to do it for a sort of a beach scene, then you can very easily just do a ton of the powders, very little resin, just enough to get it wet, where you can um, move it around with your hands and you can build textures um, and movements in that sand. So there isn't a rule and it's not, there's no requirement for the amount of powders that you will use. Cool. I want to scrape the borders here, make sure that it's completely mixed. And then I will begin <clears throat> with my cups. 